You know, I think one of the dumbest traps that Republican candidates fall into is taking seriously this question. What will you do about income inequality? You know what the answer ought to be? Celebrate it. Because income inequality is one of the best features of capitalism. Now stay with me here. Because it means that people are rewarded with monetary incentives if they work hard, are innovative, and they create products and services that a lot of people like. And those traits are good for everyone in society. You know where you're going to find income equality? In communist nations like Cuba, where everyone has pretty much nothing. That is, unless you count the leaders who always seem to live like kings. No matter the people who whine the most about income inequality tend to be socialist. They want us to institute an unjust economic system that has failed miserably everywhere it's ever been tried because they picture themselves being the power brokers who prosper under that corrupt system. Hey, ask any regular working person who fled to America from a socialist nation if they want to import that garbage here. The answer will always be no. There are three factors that make capitalism such a powerful force in creating wealth and growing the economy. Incentive, innovation, and competition. Profit really isn't even a factor because it's the very purpose of all three of those factors. See, profit provides the incentive that makes everyone who engages in capitalism believe that their efforts can pay off in gaining wealth and improving their lives. Leftists, they may see colleges as socialism indoctrination centers, but the only reason most people take on the time, effort, and debt of getting a degree is because they assume it will result in a bigger paycheck. Since after all, gender study majors are in for a rude awakening, aren't they? <laughs> you know, people take risks that benefit us all, whether going to college, opening a business, or patenting new inventions. And it's not just because they're following their passion, but let's be honest, they hope to make money. All of this creative energy that powers capitalism is generated by people who are motivated by the knowledge that the system can and will reward their success. And there's nothing wrong with that. This opportunity didn't exist under the feudal system. It's severely hampered by socialism. And you know what? It is non-existent under communism. And that's why those systems are so economically stagnant and so far behind capitalist nations and in innovation. Capitalism is the true economic justice. Quite frankly, it has lifted more people out of poverty worldwide than any other system. Nothing's even close. If you want to see the perfect A-B comparison of communism and capitalism, look at a nighttime satellite photo of Korea. Capitalist South Korea is so prosperous that its lights shine brightly enough to be seen from the moon. Communist North Korea, it's in the dark, figuratively and literally. And by the way, that's also a perfect illustration of how the unequal income generated by encouraging incentive, innovation, and competition helps the entire society. Innovation that responds quickly to market demand brings us new and better products and services that improve everyone's lives. Young people today who claim to hate capitalism, they couldn't imagine a world without Amazon and Uber, smartphones, streaming entertainment or other innovations of capitalism that certainly didn't exist when I was their age. Competition improves services. It keeps prices lower and provides choice. Russians in the old USSR, <clears throat> they used to wait in long lines for everything because the government was the only supplier. And the government didn't care if there were no choices. And the government didn't care if there were really no quality in the products or the services. Capitalism can even be better for the environment. Yep, it can. Because when consumers began demanding cleaner processes, greener products, and more fuel-efficient cars, industry quickly responded. And now you can find countless organic products available even at Walmart. And by the way, the air and the water are far cleaner in this country than they were 50 years ago. 
Capitalism is so much more efficient than government planning that while President Biden is trying to mandate that everyone drive electric cars by 2030, I would bet that long before then, private industry will have developed new auto technologies that make today's lithium batteries and the EVs that they go into look as obsolete as Model Ts. Well, that is if the government will quit thinking it can predict the future and try to pick the winners and losers with subsidies, and if they would just get the heck out of the way. So when you hear someone ranting about income inequality, just remember, you're hearing someone so lacking in brain skills and ambition that the only way they could ever get rich is by being a socialist politician. Think about Bernie Sanders, who preaches austerity, but Bernie owns three homes. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.